Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Plus, and we promised you one hell of an episode of Raw, and here we go as CM Punk will be starting us off right here live on Monday Night Raw, and that is not all as Dominic Mysterio is set to be in action once again as he is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with The Miz here tonight, and the Tribal Chief is in the building. He is live, and he is ready to have a microphone in hand as he is going to be responding to the challenge of Solo Sokoa. Also, ladies and gentlemen, with Gigi Dolan being in action, the up-and-coming superstar, as she is going to be going one-on-one one with Mitch in here tonight and that is not all ladies and gentlemen as Sheamus is going to be stepping back into the ring once again here in Universe Mode going one on one with Godfather of the Judgment Day Damian Priest but as promised ladies and gentlemen it will be delivered as CM Punk has you know decided to give the WWE Universe a bit of a message going into Wrestlemania and now we know what's going down at Wrestlemania March 17th CM Punk Cody Rhodes one on one we were waiting a long long time for this to be official it was official at the no way out pay-per-view but it's you know Cody Rhodes denied it he said I'm not doing it I'm going into the chamber I'm gonna go try to get the world championship Cody obviously didn't pan out with that but this is where Cody's road lies ladies and gentlemen as Rhodes has had one hell of an uphill and a downhill here in universe mode after losing the world's heavyweight championship at SummerSlam but it was when CM Punk made his debut after after Cody Rhodes lost to, you know, against MJF for the AEW World Championship back at the Clash of Champions pay-per-view and we had our cross-branded pay-per-view. Rhodes had one more opportunity, one more opportunity at greatness and he failed. And CM Punk promised from the beginning to be that mirror for Cody Rhodes, to expose Cody Rhodes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the big tagline, it's the big question, and it's the fair question on will CM Punk expose Cody Rhodes. You know, the entire world has been talking about Cody Rhodes. The entire world has been talking about the American nightmare and everything that he has become. The great week that Cody Rhodes has had with the amazing launch of WWE 2K24. But let me explain something to you, Cody. Let me bring you back down to reality where you belong. Alright, what you should be focused on is the fight of your life. What you should be focused on is the grandest stage of them all. And that is Wrestlemania. For weeks, I have sat back. I have let you try to take the steering wheel when it comes down to this right here, your destiny. But you have made a mockery of that. You have made a mockery of me. You accept my challenge after giving everybody a long, drawn-out promo. Listen, we are not here for Cody time. We are here. For the best in the world's time, we are here for CM Punk's time. And I am sick and tired of every single man and woman in that locker room not stepping up the way they should be stepping up. We are on the goddamn road to WrestleMania, less than two weeks away, and everybody's playing games like we're just going into another pay-per-view. Like we're not at the end of the season. Like we are not on the precipice of greatness. And I don't know about you guys, but I am damn sure tired of it. You wanted the fire. You wanted a light to light under me. You wanted something. Well, you got something. And I promise you the little bit of something that I throw at. Uh, what the hell? Well, well, I don't think that th this is what CM Punk expected at all. But ladies and gentlemen, with a shocking, uh, a shockingly great reception from the crowd here tonight it is the human highlight reel himself we usually see him over on friday nights the green brand known as mayhem but he has seemingly had enough of cm punk here tonight as punk has ran his mouth a lot and you know you know to be fair punk has ran his mouth a lot here tonight about the wwe locker room and about you know how he feels about them and you know maybe Maybe Ricochet took offense to that. I don't know, but Ricochet is definitely one of the unlikely men to come out here tonight. Punk surprisingly giving Ricochet the ring to do all his flips and tricks and everything like that. But ladies and gentlemen, Ricochet here tonight. We got a referee on the side giving him a live microphone. I can only imagine what he has to say. Who the hell do you think you are? Listen, I haven't had most ups in my career I haven't had the most highlights, I haven't had the most title matches, I haven't had the most opportunities, but when I get those opportunities, I show up and show out. And I just wrestled a few weeks ago on this road to WrestleMania, so those people that you're calling out, those individuals in the locker room not giving their all, I got a feeling you're talking to people like me. 
people that don't get opportunities, people that don't have the name CM Punk and don't just get to sign big fat money contracts and walk into the main event of pay-per-views. You see, guys like me have to earn our way from the bottom straight to the top. Guys like me have been here since season one. And guys like me are sick and tired of guys like you coming here and trying to make a statement when statements were already being made. So you have a problem with the locker room, you have a problem with the fire that's not lit underneath people, then how about you tell me to my face exactly what that problem is? Well, everybody, look at this. It is the human highlight reel. It's Ricochet. Listen, I, you were the last person that I could ever see. I expected to see standing across from me inside a wrestling ring. Listen, I don't know who the hell you think you are, but you are obviously no CM Punk. And you're exactly right. That is the reason why you haven't been in the main event. That is the reason why you don't have the spotlight. Segments aren't blowing up with your name because you don't have that name. But I was just like you once upon a time ago and I earned my way to the top. So don't sit here and try to give me that talk about how guys like me, the guy that's like me, you're standing right across the ring from him. I'm just like you. I'm the same person that you were. The difference is that I grew up and I made something out of my small career. I didn't sit down and I didn't take the little that I was given. I scratched and I clawed for more. And that's something that you can get, Ricochet. But you don't have it. And you know why you don't have it? You don't have it because you don't want it. I made a promise when I came at Clash of Champions and that was alongside of Cody Rhodes. I was going to expose the roster and you, my friend, have gave, given me a key point in the things that I need to expose. You sit in your mediocrity. You sit in this bare minimum stage of your career instead of excelling to the top. I've excelled to the top. I have made myself the man that I need to be. You, you know what? Enough of this. Uh oh, what the hell? What the hell? Wait a minute, Punk, what are you doing? Punk has Ricochet up on his feet and oh! GTS by Punk! Punk had absolutely enough! Absolutely enough of Ricochet! Can we please get a replay on what we just seen? I mean, look at that, ladies and gentlemen! It's slow motion due to perfection! It was a GTS to Ricochet! I mean, what? What the hell did we just see? What is wrong with Punk? Well, ladies and gentlemen, after one hell of an open still to come tonight, we have the great white Sheamus returning to singles action for the first time in months as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the godfather of the Judgment Day himself, Damian Priest, as we are set to get to you guys with one very long but one very chaotic episode of Raw. But later tonight, The Miz will be making his season two debut better late than never as he is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the man who lost the main event last week and is looking for momentum, Dominic Mysterio. But as we are less, and then two weeks away to WrestleMania. Fatal four-way action is coming your way for the North American Championship. It'll be the phenomenal one, the Samoa Submission Machine, an architect, and an Olympic gold medalist as those four men take each other on. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, as William Regal has an announcement that is going to shake the very foundation of Universe Mode as we know it. It seems like the name... Voice of the Voiceless has gotten to the locker room, so I am making an, an official open statement to everybody who is here tonight. If you have a problem with CM Punk and how CM Punk conducts himself, then you can be on the receiving end of a GTS just like Ricochet was. I am nobody to be messed with. And Ricochet, if you feel like you want to get your lick back, buddy boy, I will be here all night long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you see, CM Punk is uh, definitely sending a message, to say the least, to the WWE Universe. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Dominic Mysterio starting us off here on Monday Night Raw. As last week, he, you know, had a bit of an opportunity to have an uprise here in Universe Mode as he had the main event against Will Ospreay, but it was Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, you know, as they go one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania, it was their drama on the outside, and KOD 
to the Nightmare Rhea Ripley and that right there just absolutely distracted Dominic Mysterio from the main task and that task was Will Ospreay. Ospreay took advantage of the attack. Ospreay did exactly what Ospreay needed to do in the matchup. He lined up Dominic Mysterio perfectly, locked him in and hit a storm breaker ladies and gentlemen and that right there made Will Ospreay walk away with the W. That right there was the only thing that denied Dominic Mysterio a victory last week on Monday Night Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes down to Dominic Mysterio and the uprise here in Universe Mode, you know, that's exactly what it is. It's an uprise. But it's always that one thing, isn't it, that just lowers Dominic Mysterio's stock here in Universe Mode. He'll do such a good job at climbing the ranks. He'll do such a good job at winning the little matches when they don't count. But then when it comes to winning the big ones, you know, he turns it around. So it's a bit of an odd case here when it comes down to Dominic Mysterio as he's taunting away there to The Miz. And The Miz doing the same to Dominic Mysterio. But, hey, oh, man, I was just about to say, you don't turn your back to Dominic Mysterio no matter if you're in a taunt off or not. And look at that Mysterio taking him down there. Beautiful work there by Dominic Mysterio. As, you know, Mysterio is going to be back on an uphill rise here in Universe Mode as the Judgment Day is had their fair share of problems with Will Ospreay as the Demon is going to be going into WrestleMania facing them. And, you know, you got to think, you know, the Judgment Day for that. You know, Judgment Day in a way stronger position than ever going into WrestleMania this year than they were last year. I mean, you go back and look at that Season 1 playlist. You look at that WrestleMania where we were last year with the Judgment Day. And the Judgment Day weren't nearly where they needed to be. Beautiful work there by The Miz. But, ladies and gentlemen, take nothing away from... Uh, the Miz here tonight making his season two debut here and oh having a big opportunity here to knock off Dominic Mysterio one of the fastest rising stars here in universe mode and wait a minute now look at this as the Miz up to the top of the rope what does he have in mind here to Dominic high risk and definitely high reward as the Tron reminds you guys as March 17th coming you guys way it is going to be Wrestlemania the season finale for 2k23 as we are ushering in a new season but ladies and gentlemen Speaking of WrestleMania, we are going to have to go on commercial break. We'll be right back right after this. With WrestleMania right around the corner, everybody has this main event in their mind when Will Ospreay is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Demon himself, the World Heavyweight Champion, one of the most dominant in the first pillar of Universe Mode history, Finn Balor. It all goes down March 17th. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, from commercial break as Dominic Mysterio now bouncing right off of the ropes there. Beautiful work there as Dominic Mysterio drop kicking the Miz right down into the cover. Now Miz close to the ropes. Can he get his hands on it? Doesn't need to. Finds a way to kick out. And Dominic Mysterio, man, he's just going to have to inch closer and closer if he wants to be able to walk away with a victory. You know, it was going to be no easy task for Dominic Mysterio to find his stock here in Universe Mode. And, oh, man, big take down there by Dominic once again. Mysterio not playing any games as you know the Judgment Day is going double duty here tonight as Damian Priest has a main event match coming up against the Great White Sheamus and Sheamus is going to be making his return in ring for the first time in four months as it's going to be singles action last week he got a bit of a warm up and tag action but look at this now Dominic Mysterio over and through he does go Mysterio going through the ropes and making sure it looks pretty as Dominic Mysterio not playing any games here tonight with The Miz and The Miz now down and out he goes and wait a minute powerbomb position this is not looking good for the A-lister here as this is exactly where Mysterio wants to be Dominic Mysterio devastating powerbomb off the apron that ladies and gentlemen might have been the thing yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that might have been the exact thing to turn the tides around exactly the way it needs to be for Dominic Mysterio in the... Well, I would say The Miz, but, you know, for Dominic Mysterio, for The Miz, it was looking good before the commercial break, but it seems like after we got back, Dominic just didn't take it over from there. Beautiful work there, taking him right into the corner. There is Dominic Mysterio just kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking. He goes. God damn, Dominic, not playing any games here tonight is Mysterio. A lot of anger pent up from last week, you can only imagine. Oh, wait a minute now, Mysterio, look at this now. Look at this now, just going at him, not playing any games. I mean, come on. This is just relentless here by Dominic Mysterio. Oh, wait a minute now, Mysterio, what does he have in mind here? Looks like a bit of a sunset flip, and he gets him. Doesn't go for the pinning combination, but hit the sunset flip and made sure it counts. 
Beautiful work there by Dominic Mysterio. And once again, a little bit of an axe. Bullhammer there, I'd argue. I definitely know Wade Barrett would be proud. And wait a minute now, what is, what is Dominic Mysterio? Beautiful! Frog splash by Dom. Is he going to get it? And he does! Mysterio does it! Mysterio walks away with the victory. And hopefully this can feed a little bit of the Judgment Day's anger going into WrestleMania. But what a win by Dominic Mysterio. But I'm getting word we have to go backstage right now. Well, if it isn't DIY, listen, no need to tense up. We're not here for a fight. We know the last couple of weeks have been a little rough for you guys, but me and my brother Jay, we are here for one reason, and one reason only. We see FTR has been going around giving some sort of final messages going into WrestleMania, so we're here to do the same. We were underdogs, just like you guys last year at WrestleMania, and we walked out champions. You know why? Because we are the Usos. We stand for day one business, and when it comes down to this business, our bloodline, the Anawaii family's business, Let's just say things get done. And if you're in that way at WrestleMania, we will have no problem putting you down. So this, my friends, this is nothing more than a friendly warning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just as a reminder for what's to come later tonight inside your main event, Sheamus makes his return to Universe Mode Singles action as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the godfather of the Judgment Day himself, the man that has been in the right corner of the World Heavyweight Champion for all the while here in Season 2 of Universe Mode. His name is Damian Priest, and that one is going to be damn, damn good. But later on tonight coming up, we have a Tribal Chief, and he is set to be in the ring with a live microphone in his hand. And and he is going to respond to what went down to open last week's show when Sola Sokoa sent out a WrestleMania challenge that shocked the world. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it will be rankings competition as the tag team action here in Universe Mode has been getting fierce and competitive. And post WrestleMania, we are going to need challengers, so we are trying to figure out who it will be. This is for the number 10 ranking spot. Will the Undisputed Era be able to keep their position or will the Creed Brothers creep up and take their spot? Find out up next. WrestleMania is my showtime. WrestleMania is where I prove that every single time that Seth Rollins has been in the picture, that every single time that Seth Rollins has been in qualifying matches, every single time Seth Rollins has been on pay-per-view matches, and I have come up short, this is for all those moments. This is for all the mistakes in the past, and I finally have a chance to rectify it at WrestleMania. And if you think that the architect is coming to the grandest stage of them all without a plan, then you are damn sure wrong. The Shield have made it their mission to be the showcase of WrestleMania, and we've done just that. Every single member of the Shield is on the Mania card, and that is something that we are going to look back at from years and years to come. But when we look back on those moments, when we look back on those important moments of time when the Shield's legacy was truly created, with the cracks that were once there, when the full Shield comes together at WrestleMania, I'd want people to remember every good thing a part of it and that includes Seth Rollins winning the North American Championship. John Moxley holds the money in the bank. Claudio Castanoli and Will Ayuda have hinted in the past that they want tag team championship gold. And Brian Danielson is off doing great things. Where does that leave Seth Rollins? I'll tell you. North American Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back and we are on the main attraction. We are on the man. We are on the head of the table. The tribal chief. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Roman Reigns. A man who has been on self-proclaimed destiny. A man who has been climbing to the mountain of tops to get World Heavyweight Championship gold. A man who has been in a fight of his life. A man who is in a fight just to keep his family together. Ladies and gentlemen, last week Solo Sokoa did the unthinkable. 
He did what everybody had on their mind, but everybody knew no man in the family would have the balls to do, and that is challenge the big Samoa, and that is challenge the head of the table, the needle mover, to a match at WrestleMania. And Paul Heyman, the wise man, said himself that Roman Reigns would be right here tonight in Houston, Texas to do what everybody wants him to do. And that is answer the challenge of Solo Sokoa. Can Roman Reigns bring himself to face off against his family? Ladies and gentlemen, so many questions on the mind, but only, only the tribal chief can answer them. So thank God he will. Houston, Texas. Acknowledge me. Not for weeks. For weeks, we have been going back and forth. For weeks, we have been playing games. Too many games have been being played solo. Our family was brought here to do great things. Many, many great things that are now being put on the sideline time after time after time because of your foolish antics. Because you decide that you don't want me to be the tribal chief. Well, guess what, Solo? It doesn't work like that. You know what? I am going to put an end to all of this. I am going to put an end to the bickering, to the fighting, to the family issues that go on within the bloodline. I am going to put an end to it the only way us Samoans know how to handle our problems and that is inside the ring at Wrestlemania if we're gonna do this then we're gonna do this grand we're gonna do this at the grandest stage of them all and that is where I put you in your place that is where you fall in line and that is where we join together as the bloodline once again so you know what solo you want me at wrestlemania you got me at wrestlemania but i promise you one thing and one thing only you will regret ever asking your tribal chief for this request you will regret ever disrespecting your tribal chief because when you stand in that ring with me solo, you will be taking food off of the plate of your family. You will be taking the food off of the plate for my family. Because for one night only, I once again have to put aside World Heavyweight Championship implications to put you in your place. Wow. 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 I mean... Roman Reigns did it, ladies and gentlemen. Roman Reigns just... He just laid it all on the line. It's gonna be Roman versus Solo at WrestleMania. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is going to be an absolute tag team heater as we are set to get to you guys with rankings match. The big question of the night is can the Undisputed Era keep their number 10 ranking or will the Creed Brothers creep in that spot, take that 10 ranking, and then slowly climb up the rankings? We're going to have to find out, ladies and gentlemen, not later on tonight, but coming up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raw as we are live here in Houston, Texas. As we are gearing up for rankings action here in Universe Mode as the rankings tag here has been taking a bit of a uphill here in Universe Mode and it was only making a splash over on Mayhem but we brought it over to Raw because it seems like that is where the most viewers uh, like their tag team wrestling. They like it Raw, what can I say? Just li listen, get your mind out of the gutter kids. Listen, anyway, point that I'm trying to make is ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be rankings action as you can argue that the Creed Brothers are number 11 I guess since they're looking to climb the rank listen ladies and gentlemen there is no number 11 there are teams who are floating down below and there are number 10 if you don't know the number 10 let's lay the graphic on the line for you here these are the number 10 and right now the Creed Brothers are looking to take 
the Undisputed Era spot as number 10 as the Undisputed Era were number 9 here in Universe Mode, but then they lost to the debuting Pretty Deadly, and over on Mayhem, if you haven't been watching Mayhem, I definitely would because Pretty Deadly has been making a bit of a splash here in Universe Mode. They're a bit of a calm team. They haven't really made their debut on Raw or anything yet. But I I'm not going to lie. They're, they're doing some damage right now here in Universe Mode. They're, they're doing some dastardly things. Let's just say that. Right now, as you guys seen, they already moved up number 7 in the rankings. So that's absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. Already knocking off former tag team champions and doing all that. But take nothing away from this team right here. Even though they are walking into this match with a loss under their belt from the last time. At, this, you know, at the end of the day, the Undisputed Era are a dominant team. And although we are used to seeing the team of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, you know, ever since Bobby Fish got injured back at the No Way Out pay-per-view and Roderick Strong more took the place for the team of the Undisputed Era, they have been trying to find their place. So, so personally, I wouldn't really... Oh, beautiful work there by Roderick Strong. I, I wouldn't really... Uh, you know, argue the fact that this team isn't really doing too good right now because this team, the, the formation of this team wasn't expected to be a thing. When when Roger Strong was brought in, he was expecting to go after Intercontinental Gold, maybe North American Championship Gold. Roger Strong was gearing up to do things uh, singles division wise because Bobby Fish was in the tag place, but you know, Fish got injured and Roger Strong took the lead here. And as you see here, as they're doing more tag team work here on Raw as they weren't doing on Mayhem a few weeks ago, but it's going to be harder to really finesse around being a newer team going against a team like the Creed Brothers since arriving here on the scene in Universe Mode. They have been making a splash. One of the matches that I can think back on of them was the Christmas episode of Season 2, and it was them versus The Shield when Moxley and Bryan were teaming up. And man, oh man, that was one hell of a matchup. The main event Raw, and oh, beautiful takedown there. Beautiful takedown by Julius. I want to remind anybody who doesn't know Julius, the man on the inside. And Brutus, the man on the outside. As Look at these suplexing machines. As Brutus now, the legal man in the ring. He may seem shorter, but he is the uh, the buffer out of the four men or the other three men in the ring, I'd argue. And look at this now, getting out of the way. As you don't see the Intercontinental Champion, Adam Cole, with the Undisputed Era here tonight. Very interesting, to say the least. Beautiful suplex there by Brutus Creed. Creed now, what does he have in mind here for O'Reilly as O'Reilly, he's going to want to play a little bit of offense here if he wants to turn this one around in this matchup. And I said it before and I say it again, you know, them coming off a loss can't really do much good for the confidence of the Undisputed Era. But Creed Brothers looking to make a statement. They're coming into this one with a full head of steam, completely hungry. You got to think that the Undisputed Era wants to maintain that spot, maintain that number 10 spot. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, number 10, it doesn't seem like a good spot. I understand that. But you just being on that graphic, you being on that spot is all the important in being number 10 rankings, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, good things come to those who are in the number 10 rankings. I'll just say that. Look at this now, Wes, going down under now. And big knee there by Kyle O'Reilly. As O'Reilly has a bit of a jiu-jitsu background, same as Roderick Strong. And a Strong now looking to use a bit of that here in the ring. A Strong, one of the most technical wrestlers you'll ever see here in Universe Mode history. And now look at this now. Double leg of Boston Crab here locked in on Brutus Creed here. Brutus, nowhere to go, nothing to do. I eat my words here as he flips out of it. Creed getting out of it, executing that absolutely beautifully. Creed not playing any games here tonight. Oh, that is what you want to see as Brutus Creed there trying to turn his attention to Kyle O'Reilly. But O'Reilly hit him with a knee up. And now O'Reilly going down for it, not playing any games there as Brutus Creed, though. Creed Creed not eating that kick, though. Is he not taken down strong? Is this going to be it for the Undisputed Era getting knocked off of the graphic? No. The Creed brothers almost solidifying themselves as the number 10 ranking, but couldn't get it. And I want to remind everybody later on tonight, we are also going to be seeing... The likes of women's action when the newcomer of Gigi Dolan, she has had a handful of matches here in Universe Mode. She is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with Mia Yim. We are also going to be seeing Damian Priest versus Sheamus. A lot of good things to come here in Universe Mode here tonight. Look at this now. Oh, my God. Double-legged Boston Crab locked in there. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Not playing any games there, but he kicks out. Beautiful, beautiful work there by Brutus Creed, and he is just fired up, ladies and gentlemen, as he wants all the smoke here tonight. When it comes down to the uh, the undisputed era, as it, listen, if I'm Roderick Strong, I need to get a tag into Kyle O'Reilly and fast. I know O'Reilly took his brunt of the damage, 
But if I, I need to get out of here. If I'm strong, and look at that getting tossed over, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, the Undisputed Era can survive over the commercial break as we are going to be right back right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, with WrestleMania only on the precipice in tag team action, heating up from here, triple threat tag action will take place at WrestleMania March 17th. Mark your calendars. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you see, the Undisputed Era has uh, survived as the match is still going on, but uh, uh, Overcome is definitely not in the marks for them quite yet as the Creed brothers are doing all the damage that they feel they need to do here in this rankings match here tonight as eat my words there as Kyle O'Reilly looking to get out of it but I once again eat my words here as look at this now Julius looking to do some more work here both men getting tangled up there and oh big takedown there by Kyle O'Reilly O'Reilly with a beautiful beautiful takedown there as you know we've seen the Creed brothers only really in round one of the Starcade Tag Team Tournament back last year but you know the Undisputed Era they did a lot of good things in Starcade you know you would really only oh be focusing on Kyle O'Reilly when we talk about that but that's the man that's legal, so that's the man that counts. And wait a minute now, I ate my words here. We're scooping him up here, and boom, beautiful slam. Kissing the knuckles. Oh, my God. Into the cover, Julius, to put him away. Is this one going to be it? No. Julius Creed just a little too close to undisputed era territory here tonight as he thought he was going to walk away with the victory but thought twice about it. And look at this now. What is... What's going to happen here? What does he have in mind here? Is, oh, big punch to the face or punch to the shoulder region, I can argue there. And, oh, man, big punch back, not playing any game, striking him back, saying, hey, you want to bring the fight? We can bring the freaking fight. And, oh, look at this now. Undisputed Era taking complete advantage of this one here tonight as Julius Creed is in trouble. If I'm him, I'm getting out of this one right here. I need to, and I know you listen, you're going to say, how? How does he get out of this one? You, listen, I, I'm getting back in the ring. That's where you need to be. You need to be in the ring close to your tag team partner. I eat my words. I eat my freaking words. The Undisputed Era, man, if there's one thing that they're good at, they're good at isolating their opponents. All right, they are like a, a pack of wolves is the Undisputed Era. And, oh, man, big takedown there by Julius. Julius looking to turn this one around here as Houston, Texas is pumped up for it, and they are ready for the Creed Brothers to take over in the ranking spot. But, no, look at this now. Roderick Strong using that technical wrestling background to his advantage here. And, no. Oh, Man, oh man, you know, you can argue that the Creed Brothers have a bit of an advantage over the advantage of the technical advantage because they have that technical background more than other tag teams. But, you know, being this hurt this late in the matchup, advantages are advantages. And right now, with swinging in the favor of the Undisputed Era, double stomp to the neck there by Roderick Strong, now looking for an elbow drop and gets it. Beautiful, beautiful work there by Roderick Strong, now picking up Julius Creed here. Creed knocks him down as Creed now. If I'm Julius Creed, I'm getting him at my opponent into the, you know, my corner. I'm getting that tag, and I'm turning this one around. As Look at this now. Brutus on the outside, ready to go. Roderick Strong looks like his lights are absolutely knocked out. And the Creed brothers look like they're ready for some tag team work. And tag team work they get. Beautiful work there by the Creed brothers as Brutus Creed is absolutely fired up, ladies and gentlemen. And he is ready to go. All right. He's ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Man, oh, man. Look at this now. Creed picking him up. What does he have in mind here? Is looking for a suplex and gets it as vertical as the vertical suplex has come. Beautiful, beautiful work there, man. Oh man, and look at this now. Quick tags, keeping them, keeping the tags quick, keeping the tags refreshed. That's what you like to see here. Not only by the Creed brothers, but overall here in Universe Mode. And here we go now. Tag there and oh. Man, oh man, oh man, you know, you, you know, we, we knew it was coming. You know, you, you know, you know here in Tag Team Wrestling in Season 2 for 2K23, the only way to win a match is to make sure the other opponent is knocked out or knocked the hell out. Listen, when it comes down to them, you got to, oh my God, or maybe, maybe Brutus is taking that a little too literal. Maybe Brutus is taking that one a little too literal. What the hell? And oh, wait a minute, I don't know what the hell's going on, ladies and gentlemen, but look at this now, Roderick Strong, big suplex there. Strong with a suplex, knocking him out, and now Strong turning his attention right to Brutus, doing what any tag team partner would do with brains, and that is save Kyle O'Reilly. I mean, Kyle was getting the, the crap beat out of him. If I'm the Undisputed Era, I, I need that refresh, because what, what Brutus just did, that, that's what you call... That's what you call Brutus smash, all right? And wait a minute now, Julius looking for a maneuver of his own. Driving. 
driving Roderick Strong right into the barricade right here on Monday Night Raw. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, it only gets this personal when it comes down to the rankings because of what the rankings imply. You climb that rank, you climb that mountaintop, you get to that mountaintop, and you get tag team title opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. They are showing you exactly what the titles mean to them, and oh man, Look at this now, referee on the count of four. If I'm them, I need to turn this one around here. Look at this now. Ooh, Roderick Strong, big punch to the midsection here. Punch to the face is Julius Creed. Got the knock, the lights knocked out of him, excuse me. And look at this now, going right back into the ring. Needs to turn this one around into the cover. Is this one going to be it here? That punch seems like it did it, and it did. The Undisputed Era keeping their spot here in Universe Mode, maintaining what they need to maintain and doing the job. And the Undisputed Era keeping their spot at number 10. The graphic may not change, ladies and gentlemen, but that doesn't take away from the tag team work that was put on the line. The work that they did to keep this spot needs to be studied because the Creed Brothers almost had this one in the bag. You know what? You know what? I'm done playing games. You want to sit here and try to make a fool of me? You want to sit here and try to make a fool out of the entire WWE locker room? Well, I am sick and I am tired of it. So you know what, Punk? Me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. I already got the approval by Adam Pearce. All you got to do is accept the challenge. You and me can get it on Friday night on my home turf, on my show, the wrestling show, Mayhem. So be a man of your word. Don't just be a guy that shuts up the locker room. Be a guy that puts up. Because I'll be in the ring waiting for you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back out here and we are ready for the in ring action as it is going to be Mitch and Mia Yim going one on one with the woman that we have seen a bit here on the uprise on the road to WrestleMania, and that is Gigi Dolan. She has been in the ring with uh, Rhea Ripley, she's been in the ring with Bianca Belair, and now she will be in the ring with Mitch. And as Gigi Dolan has had a fair share of talent to go against on her uprise here in Universe Mode. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to take you back to what happened last episode of Universe Mode as Mia Mitchin. And, you know, she, I don't know what the hell is going on with her, but she came after Becky Lynch after Becky Lynch had one hell of a match with Candice LeRae. And uh, she's just angry. That, that, that That's all I got. She's, she's just angry. She's very angry. Becky Lynch wants a match at Mania. Uh, she wants for the title, but Mia Yim kind of isn't letting that happen. I don't really know what Mia Yim's obsession is with Becky Lynch, but she's just not allowing Becky Lynch to progress any further. You know, you would have thought that after Becky Lynch took care of damage control, that Becky Lynch would just be free of the, the, the toxicity. She would be free of the the challenges and Becky Lynch would finally be able to go after the championship but then you look at the championship picture and it's full of Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair which had an excellent face to face and if you haven't checked it out please go do so on the last episode of Universe Mode um, but ladies and gentlemen listen all I gotta say is the women's uh, division is very complicated right now you have an up and coming superstars like Gigi Dolan you have superstars who are just kind of running havoc like damage control like Mia Yim you have superstars who are trying to pave their way here in universe mode like Becky Lynch and you have just dominant superstars who are willing to do anything and everything to get what they want like Rhea Ripley and then you have the champion you know being Bianca Belair listen ladies and gentlemen the women's division if if you guys have seen this entire series I would definitely say that right now the women's division is at its most depth that it's ever been. But ladies and gentlemen, let's wait. Oh, I guess we are wasting no time. And look at this now. Gigi Dolan going right into it. Looking to knock out Mia Yim here early on in the matchup. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, kicks out there. We're going to have to go on commercial break real fast. I wasn't expecting her to do that. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with WrestleMania right around the corner, Women's Championship will be on the line when the Nightmare Rhea Ripley looks to capture the Women's Championship once again as she takes on the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair. As ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break and Gigi Dolan still in control in this matchup as she has been all throughout the commercial break here. And wait a minute, look at this Mia Yim now looking to find a way out of this one, looking to turn this one around. No, gets out of that one very quick to Gigi Dolan. And wait a minute, catches her out of nowhere. Eat the feet out of nowhere. What the hell? 
Oh man, I mean, talk about quickness into the cover. Is this one gonna be in here right off of the commercial break? And no. All right now, all right now, fighting out of it. That's what you like to see here by Gigi Dolan. And oh, wait a minute, meet me, Yim, meet me, Yim. Oh God, Yim crushing her face right into the mat. Now lining her up. I yep, yep, the crowd definitely chanted down the fight forever chance for damn good reason. Insult to injury. Stealing the finisher to wow. If disrespect can be put in a way, that was it right there. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, ladies and gentlemen, Mia Yim right now has got to be one of the most just disrespectful, despicable superstars we have yet to see here in Universe Mode. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, guys, but Mia Yim is just on another level, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, what the hell? Oh. Me what the hell will Mia Yim? Wow. Oh, man. I well, as things are heating up for our road to WrestleMania, it seems it seems like things are about to heat up a little, a little much more because in my notes, ladies and gentlemen, LA Knight is not scheduled to be here. No way out. At a primed opportunity. An opportunity that only one man can say that he's ever been in. And that is an opportunity to beat one of the best intercontinental champions that we have ever seen here in Universe Mode, and that is Adam Cole. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, got taken away from me. You see, Adam Cole had one hell of a successful reign. Adam Cole was looked at as the champion for quite a long time because of what he's done with the championship. But ever since LA Knights walked into the picture, Adam Cole has been hiding behind the Undisputed Era. All right, you want to face me at WrestleMania? You want to go one-on-one -on -one with greatness? You want to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who created this Intercontinental Championship who made this championship the championship on Monday, the championships on Friday. You want to go against that guy. Well, LA Knight, I don't think you're ready for that guy. Underneath that cocky attitude, underneath that arrogant smile, underneath the protection of the undisputed era deep down inside what came, what got you that championship still remains true in your heart. You can't hide it from me. You can't hide it from any of the professional wrestling fans all over the world. We know at the end of the day, when the hour counts, when the bell rings, that one thing stands true and that Adam Cole wrestles his ass off. And that, that is the Adam Cole that I want. I want the Adam Cole that has been scratching, that has been clawing to make himself the best. I don't want the best Adam Cole. I want the hungry Adam Cole. And I feel like deep down inside, you want to give it to me. But we can only do this dance one more time. We can only do this dance where it matters. And that is WrestleMania. You know what? You're on. What? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what? Okay, well, uh, it, it seems like Adam Cole has just accepted the challenge. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I think we're about to get LA Knight, Adam Cole 3. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the sight to behold. It'll be Adam Cole, LA Knight 3, as these two megastars will be going one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. And as we fade the black and bring the WrestleMania transition back up, we have more WrestleMania matches on the display for you guys, as it is going to be the show of shows, as it is called the show of Immortals, but Immortals will be created after WrestleMania goes Hollywood, and now confirmed that after tonight, Solo, Sokoa, and Roman Reigns, a family and blooded story finally coming ahead at WrestleMania as we go Hollywood, and it'll be in tribal combat. There's only one way these two men want to get their hands on each other, and it's with no disqualifications. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Danielson has been looking for WrestleMania greatness, and Adam Pearce said that he scoured all over the world for an opponent for Brian Danielson. Who will it be? Find out at Mania and inside your 
main event. It is set. It is big. It is one of the biggest as Osprey Balor one-on-one -on -one with the demon in sight. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Six-man tag action with all of the entire world screaming for it, ladies and gentlemen. Brawl and Brute Shield, it's been getting personal, but as it's been getting personal tonight, Sheamus takes a step back from Mania, and he steps into the ring here tonight by himself, Dolo and Solo, as he goes against the godfather of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest. Everybody wants to know why the North American Championship means so much to me. I have wrestled all over North America for the last 20 years of my career. I have made North America the destination for professional wrestling and I have extended that when I joined the WWE and I have wrestled all over the world. I am an Olympic gold medalist. I am a guy who can do it all. And at WrestleMania, I go against three of the best. I go against a Samoan submission machine, an architect, and I go against a man. <laughs> I don't even know if you can call him that. I'd argue phenomenal. Because AJ Styles is unlike any other man you will ever step into the ring with. But one thing that makes me different, one thing that stands me out from the rest, is that I am hungry. I may not be the brightest in this match. I may not have all of the experience that everybody else in this match carries. But I am the youngest, I am the hungriest, and I am the man who when put in tough situations has done the impossible. Everybody forgets. Everybody forgets, but I don't forget. I was the man who helped my friend LA Knight get to Survivor Series off of my pinfall. That's not me putting it in his face. That is me laying out the facts because the facts are clear. When I am put in these situations, I persevere the greatest. And you are backing me into the greatest corner of them all. When I stand on the grandest stage of them all. And that is at WrestleMania March 17th will be my destiny fulfilled when I walk out North American champion and I am willing to put everything on the line. I know Joe is going to wrestle his heart out. I know Styles is going to wrestle his heart out. Hell, I know Rollins is going to do any and everything with the shield to make sure he walks away champion. But no one of those men are willing to put it all on the line for that title. And I am. So March 17th, I am walking out North American champion. Whether if it's the last thing that I ever do here in universe mode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know Chad Gable is going to be looking to cement that legacy at WrestleMania. But come on, Mayhem. It will be Gable versus Trick Williams. Williams will be live and in action. But also, ladies and gentlemen, as we have an updated graphic for our ranking spot here in the tag team division. As we are slowly creeping up, it will be the Undisputed Era versus the OC. And who will get that number nine ranking spot? I don't know who it will be, but I know this is going to be a banger, ladies and gentlemen. And that's not all because as confirmed, it will be CM Punk versus Ricochet. Wow, I guess we're not waiting for the best in the world to send out the acceptance because Adam Pearce has done it himself. It's going down Friday night. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally back here and we are ready to go as Houston, Texas has been waiting for this one all night. We are gearing up for one hell of an episode of Mayhem as CM Punk and Ricochet are set to be your main event. But ladies and gentlemen, this one right here is going to be good as it's time for your main event. The Godfather of the Judgment Day. It is Damien Priest as the World's Heavyweight Champion is not in the building here tonight. But Damien Priest is making sure the Judgment Day sticks by him as Dominic Mysterio had a successful victory earlier tonight. And now Damian Priest is looking to follow pursuit as we have not seen Will Ospreay all night either. And Will Ospreay has promised to make the Judgment Day's life an absolute living hell. But we have yet to see of them. Not to jinx that or anything. But, you know, that doesn't make things any safer for the Brawling Brutes as they have been having an ongoing war with the Shield. And they have an up-and-coming match at Mania with the Shield. So, anything can happen. I, I can say this main event might break down. I don't know. Anything can happen, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to keep all security everywhere we can. Make sure everything stays as clean as possible. As tonight has been a very focused episode of Raw. And we are just proceeding as we are gearing up to our road to WrestleMania. 
And oh, wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, as the crowd settles in and gears up for the Great White. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the man himself. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Sheamus. He is back. And he is ready with the brawling brutes, ladies and gentlemen. This one is going to be damn good. We have seen Sheamus in action last week. But this is the first time we are seeing the first ever Intercontinental Champion in action. Singles action since the last time he wrestled here in Universe Mode. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very, very interesting. Raw has not seen the grace of Sheamus in a very long time when it comes down to singles action. Especially when it comes down to the main event scene. So this one's going to be very, very good. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how Sheamus fares in this matchup. But you can definitely see the Brawling Brutes are ready for anything. As if the Shield try to make an appearance here tonight. They will be ready for anything. I want to let that be known ladies and gentlemen. This one's going to be damn damn good. Sheamus is ready. The Godfather of the Judgment Day. Damian Priest is ready. I think the referee's ready. Let's waste no time. Let's get into this. And oh wait a minute. Sheamus running right at Damian Priest there. And oh clubbing clothesline there by... Sheamus is Sheamus firing away on all cylinders early on in this matchup. Now looking to take him to the outside is oh, beautiful work there by Damian Priest knocking him off there. And Sheamus now looking to do some more work here. Sheamus not playing any games here tonight with Damian Priest as this matchup has just begun. And already Sheamus is uh, going off and going at Damian Priest. And now look at this, making sure it hurts, making sure he does any and everything possible that he can do to him. Making sure that it, uh, the job gets done. And Damian Priest trying to go off of the ropes there. Damian Priest trying to go off of the ropes there. But nobody was home. Excellent work there by Sheamus getting out of the way here tonight. As Sheamus, more than anybody else, needs a win here tonight on his road to WrestleMania. You know, Damian Priest doesn't really have a road to WrestleMania. He's going to be supporting Finn Balor on his main event matchup. But when it comes down to Damian Priest, Priest doesn't really have a set road to WrestleMania. Priest doesn't really have a set match for WrestleMania. So Damian Priest here can afford that loss. But does he want to get that loss is the question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as hard hitting as this one is, look at this now. Oh! Big, big power bomb there by Sheamus. Kick out at one. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to go on commercial break real fast. We'll be right back right after this. I want to remind everybody, March 17th, mark your calendars because inside your main event, it is going to be a main event of all main events when Finn Balor brings the demons to WrestleMania to take on the underdog, Will Ospreay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break as this one has been brought to the outside and you see the Judgment Day making sure Damian Priest is good as Dominic Mysterio, I said earlier, tonight as he didn't have a uh, successful win last week in his main event match but hey he got his he got his win back this week wasn't against Osprey but he got his win back but look at this now Dominic cheering on Damian Priest as Priest tried to go for a bit of a clothesline there but missed out as Sheamus takes him down there beautiful work there by the great white Sheamus and Sheamus big knees to the back there as these two men going at each other. They were, listen, this is as hard hitting as we expected it to be here. Look at these two men going at it. Sheamus not playing any games here with Damian Priest. Up and down he goes again. Damian Priest is in for a world of hurt. Listen, if I'm Damian Priest, yeah, I'm using the Judgment Day to my advantage because listen, listen, he can, he can use anything he can get at this point, ladies and gentlemen, if I am being completely honest. And oh, Damian Priest there trying to go for that spinning back elbow there, but Sheamus just holding on to the ropes for a bit longer than he needs to. Oh, beautiful work there by Sheamus. Sheamus now, or excuse me, by Damian Priest. Priest now. As Sheamus looked to turn this one around, but Priest says no. And oh, Priest trying to go for the cover. I mean, the ring awareness was perfect out of center of the ring, but Damian Priest there. Oh, man. Priest. Priest knocks him off for the ropes. Just barely missed the bro kick. If, listen, if I'm Sheamus. If I am Sheamus, man, I am counting. Because that right there could have been all she wrote. And look at this now, Damian Priest trying to choke the absolute life out of Sheamus here tonight. The godfather of the Judgment Day trying to put him away. Referee wanted to put the chair to the outside of the ring, but didn't have time to. Sheamus, though, beautiful work there by Sheamus. Knocking him off. Big work there. And oh, J.D. McDonough. McDonough coming into the fray. McDonough getting involved once again. 
And oh man, oh man, you know, listen, Judgment Day, they're known for this. They're known for doing things like this. But wait a minute now, Damian Priest, south of heaven! Gets the Great White down! Two and no! Sheamus says no! Sheamus keeps the fight alive! Oh man, look at this airborne godfather! And a big splash goes Priest! Oh man, Priest going for a big knee and oh! Bro kick out of nowhere! Into the cover! No! Desperation bro kick! Wow! 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 The crowd knows, Sheamus knows, Priest knows that this one is a heater. This one is a banger. Have you ever seen a great white fly? Sheamus doing the impossible here tonight. Doing any and everything that he needs to do to solidify his name on his road to WrestleMania. And oh, big punch there by Sheamus. Another one there, but Damian Priest knocking him off as Priest now, oh! Big punch to the face, pop up, strike there, down goes Sheamus Priest now, airborne, but missed! Missed! And as Sheamus tries to laugh, Dominic throws him back into the ring. That right there might have gave Priest a little bit of time, but not as much as he needed. As Sheamus right now looking to take advantage and bounces his head right off of the ring apron. Will Ospreay might need, not even need, might not even need to do any damage to the Judgment Day. You know, when it comes down to his main event match, Sheamus might do it for him. I hate my words there, and oh, wait a minute, Sheamus. Sheamus could be in trouble. Could be, no, no, is in trouble. Sheamus getting knocked down badly. Badly as badly comes, and oh man, I hate my words there as Damian Priest and oh, mate, Damian Priest throwing some knees right into Sheamus, ladies and gentlemen. These two men, these two men beating the absolute crap out of each other here tonight. And look at that now, Damian Priest breaking the count there, telling Sheamus to get back in the ring. Dominic Mysterio moving over. J.D. McDonough moving over, leaving the path for these two big men to brawl. And now look at this now, popping them up and no DDT there by Sheamus. Sheamus with a DDT now going to the top rope. I asked you a question earlier. Have you ever seen a great white fly? You seen it. Now you're gonna see a bit of a repeat. And oh, shoulder tackle from the top. Sheamus doing any and everything that he needs to do to walk away with the victory here tonight. Couple of overhand chops. Sheamus now. Oh, Alabama slam. Damian Priest finding a way back up to his feet. Sheamus still looking to turn this one around. Priest still says no. With a little bit of help from the Judgment Day. Priest doing everything that he needs to do. And oh man, look at this now. Big Ivor stripped there by Priest and finally gets it. Into the cover here. Is this one going to be in here to knock off Sheamus here in his return? No. Man, oh man. Sheamus. Sheamus fighting. Sheamus doing any and everything that he can do. Double axe handle there. Knocking off the Godfather of the Judgment Day. But Sheamus is going to have to try to do more than that. And these, these are desperation elbow drops there. You're seeing from the Great White. He is just doing any and everything at this point to try to put him away. He is doing any and everything at this point to put away the one man that he has sworn to put away here tonight, and that is Damian Priest. The shield may lie in the path of the, of the brawling brutes come WrestleMania, but tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, tonight, Sheamus understands the goal at mine, but I eat my words, oh. As Damian Priest didn't have a lot of energy to bring him back up to his feet there. But Priest now up and down he goes. Beautiful, beautiful work there by Damian Priest. To Sheamus here tonight as the crowd is on their feet. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell is that, Sheamus? Sheamus is, needs to focus on the outside instead of inside the ring. And the Brawling Brutes, they knew they were going to have to be ready for the Shield. But the Shield are here tonight. 
Claudio Castanoli, and look at this, John Moxley coming to the O. Coming to the ringside, going right at the Butch and Holland. Meanwhile, inside the ring, south of heaven. Into the cover, one, two, three. The Shield walking away. Butch getting up to his feet, looking around the pickup Ridge Holland. I don't think they understand what just happened. But ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you know. Wow, wow, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's to come from Mayhem. Gable versus Williams. Era versus the OC. It's rankings, baby. And in your main event, it is going to be the best in the world. CM Punk versus Ricochet.